Hello everyone. This video will show what to expect for Random Flow version 1.1.0 in the upcoming update. Right now, the panel size can only be changed for the loop 1 object. This affects how much neighboring faces are added to a randomized face which in turn results to bigger face panels. In this version, the individual panel size toggle is introduced allowing you to set panel sizes for all loop objects. When turned off and using a higher loop subdivision, you can see more of the small teeth details mentioned in the documentation. With the panel size increased you can see that the face islands or cells are much bigger. This along with the ratio parameter will give you more control over the resulting shapes. You can see that now, even when subdivide faces is used, the shapes are much more interesting. And this is the result of subdivide faces without individual loop panel sizing. The details are much smaller and is better used as angular noise detail for large scale models. This version will also allow you to triangulate the faces used for the random operation allowing for more variety of shapes as a result. Just remember that the face selection width and length will also affect how the triangulation will result in the randomization process. Don't forget that the subdivide faces is the slowest of all solvers, so depending on the resolution of the face selection and the subdivision you are using, Blender can take a long time to process everything. In random panels, the panel amount slider will be added. This will allow you to reduce the panel details by percentage. Using this along with panel size and subdivision will give you more control over the resulting shapes. This will also give more variation when using the other solvers and paths. Triangulation of the selected faces will also be available here. Because of the way the islands are made, the panel size can sometimes have little effect on the resulting details, but using the panel amount and seed property will give you better control over them.
Using Clip Center in this version will allow you to choose which symmetry axis will be clipped or not. In random tubes, you'll have the ability to clamp or unclamp the bevel width using the clamp overlap toggle. This is on by default. This will let you avoid geometric distortions when beveling in higher subdivision where the tube can turn using very short edges. Triangulation will also be available for random tubes allowing for more interesting results. In the cleanup operator, the remove face doubles will be deprecated for now as this needs more work to avoid removing some cells or islands especially in random extrude results. In this version, there will be a helper button in the menu which is on by default but you can disable this in the user preferences of the add-on using the show usage info button. This will show the basic actions of selecting faces in edit mode and going to object mode in order to use the random operators. It will also address how some people are not aware of the F9 hotkey to show the pop-up menu again if it disappears when navigating. There will also be a warning on not to use too much polycount for the random operations. If you already know these things, you can turn this button off in the user preferences as shown before. The use confirm menu for random operators will allow you to use the confirm type pop-up menus for the random operators instead of the default one. With this menu, modifying the parameters will not activate the operator unless you use the Confirm or OK button. After that, you can access and maximize the Redo panel in the bottom left corner of the viewport. This time modifying the parameters will have direct results. The menu will stay there even if you move the viewport around. You can still access the redo panel using the F9 hotkey to show it under the mouse cursor. Remember, these menus are not unique to the add-on. They are the menus used by Blender with its own operators. It is internal which means only the Blender developers can change its behavior. And that's it for this video. After the changes here are written in the documentation then the updates will be passed on both stores. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.